All right, so you guys pretty much know how this works at this point. It is time again for Scrapyard Wars, but we're throwing a wrench into the rules once more. We're gonna have a bigger budget, $900 per team, and because that gives us enough money to build something that not only performs well, but also looks good, we've brought in BS Mods, professional computer modders extraordinaire to lend both me and Luke a hand. So a welcome to our guests, Bob and Rod, and without further ado, let's get started. So we're ready to call him back. Um, we're a little late, right. actually. Yeah, it's 2:25. Oh, um, we can I have your phone? Or, or you wait, no, you called him with Brandon's phone. Okay, Brandon, uh, can I have your? You're not gonna like this text. What? <laughs> hey, got a reply from the other guy. He says he's willing to pay the full 400. So I'm gonna have to take his offer. Sorry. What? Whoa, hold on. No, we just won the lottery. I do, however, have an XFX reference cooler cooled card I can sell you for 260. Wait, so it's up to you. Why didn't he tell us that in the first place then when we were like begging for a better deal? Done deal that fits better in our budget. Dude, you're a fast texter. Name the time oh and place. That is awesome. So I wonder if his brother has that though. Cause I hope remember so. Remember the thing was is that um, his brother was dealing with it and whatever. Oh, I hope so. We want to get it today. Um, Cause that card performs almost identically. So, and the, so, <laughs> so we just got extra money in our pocket. Yeah. If that's. I'm getting a CPU cooler. Or you can have more modding crap, whatever you want. No, I mean, we're pretty good other than... That is great. Okay, well, let's let's enjoy our food knowing that we may have just pulled this out of the fire. I feel really good about our computer hardware. Um, a year ago, when we did the first Scrapyard Wars, I might not have felt as good about what we got for our money, but quite frankly, with how competitive the used market seems to have gotten, I mean, we ended up buying from someone whose entire job it is to scavenge used stuff, assemble it into systems and sell it. And that combined with the way the Canadian dollar has tanked, I feel really good about what we got considering the market conditions. I think Luke and Rod are gonna have a hard time matching the raw spec of our system. Okay, so what are you planning for the lighting then? Um, I'm just gonna start dragging everything out here. Well, we don't, all we have right now is just that one case fan that's a blue LED and that's not really gonna be enough. Yeah, but we, um, okay, well now we can probably afford a water cooler. You found the Cooler 920 right. for, what was it? Uh, what was it, like 50 bucks? 50 bucks. Yeah. Or best offer, so we might get it for less. I think that one comes with two fans. So right now, we got a 120 and a 140 with this. Yep. So honestly, the blue LED fan is kind of the odd man out, but one of the categories is lighting, so we can't abandon it. So I have LED strip lighting in my toolbox. Oh, okay. And it would definitely light up the whole case. Like it's right. like a whole kit. So it would do the whole case really bright. We really needed to spend at least another couple hours on aesthetics today. We burned over three hours just driving. It really hurt what I think we're gonna be able to deliver in the aesthetic department. Hopefully, Bob can prove me wrong tomorrow, but right now, I'm pretty worried. So they look kinda like that, and for a close-up, it looks like they... Oh, yeah. So if we had like a rusted can, There's so if we cans, chopped it like here, so that we just had the stick and none of this crap and then like strapped a rusted can. It's having some thunder sticks. With they do it. stick tall off the, off the machines too. They so do. going tall off the chassis might not be bad either. But yeah, I think if we totally... We ought to ditch the top. Ditch the top. So, so if we top. cut, if we cut here where there's a nice, hopefully, I don't want to work with bamboo, a nice inside, we can use a screw, like put a plug piece in of something. And then and we can just... cover the, this looks like bamboo parts with, with some strapping or tape or yeah, whatever. Yeah. yeah. All right, I'm gonna start trying to get through that. Okay, I just heard back from the guy's brother. He says it's okay to meet at 6.30. Nice. 
perfect. 6.30? Yeah. Oh, that's even better. Yeah, that's half an hour better. Yeah. Uh, he says he can come home earlier if we need to meet up earlier, but I don't even know if we're going to be done here right. in time. To, yeah, I mean, what time is it right now? It's 3.15. Uh, I'm going to ask where he's located. Okay, so I'll find that out. Either way, we're in good shape. We're going to have a video card, which is better yeah. than not having a video card. Um, and then okay. I'm waiting on the cooler, so we should get an answer back. So hopefully... Direct me. Show me what okay. to do while you do so, other more important things. So. I was actually trying to figure out what I could get Linus to start doing that would uh, not get either one of us hurt. So we're all stripped down. So uh, one last thing I think we want to do is pull out, pull out the hard drive cage right here. Okay. Um, because we can just open up this space. Mm -hmm. It's not really needed since we only have one SSD. We can just use like double back tape or something and stick it somewhere. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> That's perfect. So, um, okay. um, so this can be gone. Okay. The optical bay we got to leave because it's part of the instruction, the uh, structural integrity of the case sure. itself for keeping it from bending. And so I just got to drill out some rivets. So yeah, it looks like. Um, okay. If you go to the bottom here, One, two, three, four, you got those. Four you got these two here, um, oh, and then those two there. Do you want to do that? and have me cut out the window? You better the cut time. the window. I would do such a crappy job of the window. Do you want me to do it at the same time? Or you're yeah, 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 go, go ham. Okay. All right. Yeah, we're gonna, we gotta make the best use of the labor that we have right now because we have used a lot of time on hardware. How freaking badass is that? <laughs> We can grab, we can have our initials on This guy will go right like this. Uh, we started actually working on the aesthetic stuff. I did worry a little bit about overall time, uh, but Rod is really fast. And if he gives me something that I can actually work on, I can hopefully be pretty fast. So I think we're going to be able to pull it together. The fit? Yep. I think we should win purely on the fact that uh, you know, their computer's not going to be as explosive as ours. Our computer is definitely going to be dangerous, whether it's on Our computer or off. could literally kill their computer. Right. And our own. Right. It and probably will. And, and the building. Yeah. So much for Linus tech tips. Yeah. So they should probably let us win. It was a good run. We're like the Wookiee. Did anyone get that reference? Yep. All right. There we go. How do you turn it on? <laughs> what? I don't know how to turn it on. This little, this whole thing, but you have to push this little tab. That's <laughs> not. <laughs> Do you know where, where I don't where think the... that changes anything, right? Really? What? Then I have to use it like this? That sounds ridiculous. Oh, yeah, that does sound ridiculous. For it not to fly, throw sparks at you? Yeah. Like, thanks. <laughs> I don't even care that much. So I would probably be like this. Stand, yeah, I think I that's the thing. Oh, right. <laughs> I didn't breathe that whole time. <laughs> I'm sure this sounds super dope through the mic. I'm sure that just sounds great. We've uh, we figured actually out a fair amount of things. I'm pretty happy with today's progress. Uh, we still have some stuff we need to acquire, which is becoming a problem over time, but the aesthetic stuff I think is really coming along. I think we have just about every element of design in our case uh, on, in progress. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, finish the aesthetics tomorrow and drop some hardware in. Um, I'm a little worried about the cables on that power supply. Mm -hmm. Like I was thinking about, you know, what we can do with this acrylic on the way over here, um, and they're just gonna be ugly. There's, there's, I, there's things we can do. So we can cover them. Were you saying we can. you weren't sure if we had enough acrylic for the back panel? But I think we do. I think we got lots. We can gut the power supply and we yep. can actually snip back any wires we don't need. That's true. We can snip those off, get those out of the way. So that eliminates that. Then anything that's left, um, if there's any way we could put something over them, I don't care if we use a sock 
or something just to put like whatever and you, you know okay. you can try to paint the wires themselves but as soon as you spray them with spray paint you're going to have a chemical reaction and they're just going to get gooey so the insulation on the wiring is going to just turn gooey on you now if you didn't touch it it might look okay from afar so for, <laughs> it's something we probably don't want to do but um Okay, I'm gonna start by tearing down the power supply then. Okay, yeah, and then we can you, we can snip this, anything right? back. Yeah, I'll have this done in about five minutes. So. Okay. All right. Sorry, who did you hear back from? Okay, so this is a CPU cooler guy. Yeah. So uh, he says yes, it works with four and as well as AMD Intel. AMD as well as Intel. Oh, I can't. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it works for. What did you get? Okay, so. I live close to Joyce Station. Okay, that's actually pretty close to where we need to go for the video card anyway. Okay, so yeah. if it's four, just about 4.30 right now, so should I tell him a time uh, and say, can we meet up at like whatever time? Let me let me get a closer, let me get a closer ETA for you, but yeah, we should be able to make it part of the same trip. We'll do it, I think, too. Let's do blue and silver on it. We'll do a design. Actually, dude, since we're gonna do like race and stripes or whatever on here, like, uh, let's put a racing stripe on that power supply. Racing stripe done. That'll be SSD killer. racing stripe too? Or is that overdoing it? No, you know what? That's bingo. That's exactly what we need to do. Okay. So if we carry the theme, so if we go racing stripe on the outside, yep. racing stripe on the power supply, racing stripe on the SSD, it ties it all together. Okay. Super easy. So this kid wants, what, 50 bucks for that thing or whatever? Yeah. So, and I'm sure we could probably get it for 40. Okay. So. Just let me do the talking. <laughs> A lot of laughing going on. We'll see how much you guys are giggling when you lose. Yeah, bitches. No, <laughs> we need that. Okay. I mean, is it really a surprise when I'm victorious, though? Do you mean with or without cheating? Like, you know, is it... <laughs> You've been following me this whole time. Do I seem like the kind of person who would cheat? Um, wow. So there's going to be our winner. Nice. I like the blue color. Yeah. Let's we'll leave the plastic on. Is it really? Holy crap, okay. Time flies, man. Line is speaking. Oh, okay, you know what? I've actually tracked down most of what I need, I think, but do you have any CPU coolers? See? See how he comes straight over here instead of going over to the other team? I don't know, it wasn't. You were trying to get me to come over there. That's the loyalty. He was kind of just like, That's eh, the sure. Right there. What do you mean, what's so cool about it? It's cool and awesome. I don't even know what I'm looking at. Oh, get out of here. But actually, what am I looking at? Trust me, it'll be awesome. We can't tell you that. Okay, this looks good. Would you guys pick this up? Yeah, that's great, huh? Yeah, yeah, we're going for a rustic, uh, abandoned, uh, you know, wood yard. Nice, looks good. I've done a wood case before. I actually did a case out of uh, old crappy pallet wood. Okay, look at that. Dude, that's gonna be so awesome. Once that's painted, bam. Okay. Everything left is gonna be like a... Uh, I hope that paint will work over plastic on its own. I believe it does. So we have to, or cut around or something, but... We... Yep. All right, rock on. Can you wet sand with alcohol? No, um, just wanna use water. That will be awesome. Ouch. Shoot, we have to go. It's 5.45. Crap, we're gonna have to leave this sitting just like this. Yeah, we got, I mean, we definitely gotta get this stuff. So our ETA is saying we're gonna be about 11 minutes late for our rendezvous with the video card guy. But there's another wrench in the plan. We are out of gas, so I'm gonna to have to stop somewhere. 
on the way. We're going to have to message him and let him know that we're running about 15 minutes late, which should still be okay, but we're going to have to let the sh then we're going to have to let the uh, the CPU cooler guy know. Yeah, I was just going to Scrapyard Wars will return after this message from our sponsor. This episode of Scrapyard Wars is brought to you by Dbrand, makers of the precision cut vinyl skins that you see on the phones and laptops of the contestants. They may not be bulletproof, but they look really cool. Try out their configurator at dbrand.com, linked in the video description. Oh, shoot. Do we have enough time to finish this mod, Bob? Um, when's it gotta be done? End of day tomorrow, 5.30 tomorrow. Yep. We'll be done. What? Oh crap. Okay. We've got a 3D 3D program running. Alright, let's uh let's do this thing and mosey. We've got our video card. We still have 23 minutes before we have to wrap up for the day. And all that's left is to meet up with the guy who has our CPU cooler. We're getting an Antec Cooler 920. That's an all-in-one liquid cooler. And we have all of our hardware ready to go at that point. So we gotta head back to the office. And tomorrow, we have the whole day to build, which Bob insists is going to be enough and we are going to finish. But I do not share his confidence. Oh. Okay, so what'd we say, 40? Yep. So... I'm gonna Did he ever uh, confirm that? No, but that's what he's getting is 40 bucks. <laughs> no. Okay, so yeah. if you're gonna be that guy, then you're gonna be that guy. I tell you what, I'm, I'll, give you, I'll, give you the, I'll give you the 10 to have in your back pocket. No, to... it's not necessary. <laughs> so you're getting it for 40. Okay. Okay. All right on. Bye. Hey, I'm Bob. Hey, nice right. to meet you. Hi. Oh, hi. So, did you get oh, our message? Yeah. So, is 40 bucks gonna work for you? Oh, uh, sure. Cool, yeah, okay. awesome. All right. Oh, I actually have it. Oh, okay, okay. cool. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. I'm, yeah, I'm familiar with uh, buying hardware on the street corner, you know. Yes, everything's here, everything's good to go. Let's pay the man and we are, we are four, four minutes to the deadline. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay. Let's take our let's take our water cooler, our ace in the hole water cooler that we're gonna overclock our 2500K with, and uh, yeah, that's the last piece of the puzzle. That's the yep. last piece of the puzzle. We have everything we need. Mission accomplished. Yes, mission. friends, mission accomplished. All the hardware. I think. Well, we're one minute from pencils downtime today, and we are done. And we are done. Actually, on NCX, I found some SSDs that were just as cheap as they are on Craigslist, so people need to figure that out and start selling used things at discounts and then not be ass and try to sell them at full price. I am cutting out our front panel to fit our sweet gauges, so we want this to drop flush so it's not interfering with like our torch. Um, there's a guy with a 240 gigabyte V300 for 80 bucks, which is still available. We've got an 840 Evo, which is still available, which is 90 bucks, and it's a 250 gig. And then the power supply, we've got for $45. The energy hazard inside sticker, which actually might've been a good idea to keep on because, you know, fire is like type of energy, thermal energy. Maybe should have left it, but I think for the aesthetic, it's better without warnings. Fire's all the warning you need. That's kind of true. Fire is all the warning you need. These were the ones that were only four ninety nine. Yeah. But if you had two more of these caps, you could drill the caps and get a case foot. I'm getting everything cleaned on the case. For paint to it here, right? You can't have any dust oils, fingerprints, grease, sticker goo. The thing is, if they're still a little grimy, it's probably okay. But I don't want them to be like, disgusting. While Linus might be fine claiming that he needs to build the computer for a 
uh, immigrant girls orphanage for the challenged and elderly, um, I kind of feel bad when I haggle people because like, I don't need to save $5 on a power supply, but for the contest I do, but like, especially like if I was like 15 and trying to sell my power supply so I could buy a new computer component, like that five bucks is actually pretty impactful. So like it's pretty shitty to hang it with people. And then like, I kind of feel like I should hide my car when I drive up. It's like, oh yeah, I drive like a relatively new car and I really need that five bucks off that power supply. And that's so much with like one bolt. So we, maybe if we have to put, I got enough room, I could put a wood block and screw it in here this way too. And then come all the way through with long screws. All right. Top. Okay, so we want to allow our piston rods to go together, but they've got an extra lip right here where they connect to the crankshaft. So I'm going to come in and take this extra eighth inch of probably pretty hard casting off it. <laughs> there you go. Hot metal. We'll just shoot this really quick. Just some nice light. So we got some uh, stone accent paint. It's black with a little bit of uh, kind of a brown in it. And we've kind of done an overall brown texture coat, kind of to emulate rust and harsh conditions. So I want to throw some accents onto it with the uh, darker color. So I'm just going to throw some streaks like right across it. And uh, so now it looks like it's really been around for a few years, which it has. It's a pretty old chassis. Plan today is to get the system, hopefully get a power supply and SSD, and do everything we possibly can in terms of aesthetics. I'm not sure we're going to get to 100% in terms of aesthetics, but we'll get as much as we can. So we're picking up a power supply at 3.30. It's currently 1.10. Um, I'm trying to get on the laptop so I can figure out when we're picking up the SSD. And the system, the guy said, and I quote, Later, I am at work around noon. I will text you when I'm there and ready. I have to take care of some shipping this morning first. So it's 1.10 now, he hasn't messaged me yet. A Little bit worried about that. I've tracked down two more Tiki torches. Well, technically 61 more Tiki torches, but we only need two. And we can use the caps on there as feet for the case. So we might end up going to get those, but I'm getting a little bit worried about the component stuff. I've got an email from one of the guys. Apparently the SSD guy can meet us around two or three. So that's good actually, we'll try to message him. So I'm trying to schedule things out so we can most optimize our time in the workshop. Um, the system guy wants us to pick it up relatively soon. He doesn't really have a time. Power supply guy wants us to pick it up at 3.30 and the SSD guy wants to either deliver or have us pick it up or I'm still trying to figure that out from two o'clock to three o'clock. So I'm hoping to line it up so that we either get the SSD or uh, receive the SSD or go get the SSD at like 2.30ish and then go get the system for three o'clock-ish and then get the power supply for 3.30ish and then be back here by hopefully four and then keep working. We still have an hour of flux time from last night, possibly an hour and a half considering they went half an hour over, but we'll have to grill them about that later. Okay, so here we are, day three. We've got to be finished our build at the end of the day. And um, I think uh, Bob went out to dinner with the enemy last night and got potentially some useful intel. They didn't like come out and say anything, obviously, because they didn't want me to know what was going on, but they were trying to do the whole code speak thing, you know? And, but they had to show each other some texting and whatever. So what I gather from that is that they don't have all their hardware yet. So 
stuff. They actually had somebody deliver something here to the shop for them last night. They are still in need of something, and it, what I could get from the code speak is that they were uh, not sure that their deal was going to go through or not even, and so they were going to have to scramble to find something else. Meanwhile, we've got the heat cranked in the warehouse to uh, speed up our paint drying times, and we are pretty much ready to get rocking here. Okay, um, so one thing I do want to do is get that hardware fired up at some point here. Maybe this one's ready. Maybe actually, see, it won't take you too long to bench stuff, right? Uh, it'll take me a while, yeah. If you want to do that, I'll go ahead and just handle all this stuff for okay. now, and then we'll regroup. So I was pretty nervous about us not being in paint yet uh, last night, but we're hitting the paint booth first, and I still hear metal fabrication sounds over there. So we've got all our hardware and we've got our fabrication done. We're in paint. I'm feeling pretty good about where we're sitting right now. So um, basically this is like, I just, I need something to set stuff on when I paint it. So this is just a quick and dirty little stand out of some cardboard. I'm wondering where to find the one I love when love was blind. We have a Samsung SSD. Right. Which means we can install Samsung's SSD magician software to utilize RAM as a cache. Now, the unfortunate thing is we don't have a lot of RAM in our system, but we still have $60. So if I can find a deal on another eight gigs of RAM, I might want to get it today. I gave you 20 yesterday, so don't mess oh, up our budget. Yeah, I still owe you 20, so, right? Yeah, so. Okay, Okay, so I have 40 bucks, I have $43. People are asking about 50 for eight gigs of DDR3. So I would have to spend effectively everything. You'd be left with $2.75 again for the rest of your mod. Do you need anything else? The only thing I'm concerned about is paint. Should we need one more can of paint? So if I could offer, okay, here's another thing. I got a guy who's made an offer on the Antec case. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, should I take the offer on the Antec case, even though that's kind of gray, which gives us another 15 bucks? Or 10, 10 bucks, 10 bucks. Well, I mean... So that's another can of paint if we need it. I don't know that it's worth the risk of the paint and then the time we're gonna lose tracking the hardware down because we actually do have quite a bit to do and we gotta allow for drying times just because I can get it painted. Yeah. Okay, and we gotta go... We don't know together. how long it's gonna take. Yeah, and then that pulls okay. me away. Okay, I'll, you know what? If he's down the road and he'll take 35 bucks or something and I can get the Antec case done, then I'm gonna try. He wants how much? 50? He wants 50. I don't think he's gonna take 35, but we'll see. I got a lead on our case. I told the guy I got someone coming tonight, so if he doesn't come get it today, he can't have it. And then I've got a couple people asking 50 bucks for eight gigs of RAM, one of which actually has identical RAM. Here's a listing for 40. Maybe I can offer this guy, uh, maybe I can offer this guy 30. Oh, this one's close. Wait, is it? Oh, this one's close. This one's like a 10 minute drive. Okay, well, that, that came loose eventually. Ew, there's some, there's some stuff in here. You can see there's like yellow gunk. Let's get this shoddy tubing off here. And replaced by some real tubing. Fantastic. Come on. I was right about the water having evaporated from this thing. It's completely full of gunk. What are we gonna do? No wonder when I tried to dump out the rat, it wasn't going. It's totally clogged up. Now what I hope is that it's just here in the barbs or something. Let's go see. If it's my fork, I guess no one can really get mad at me, right? Okay, there we go. And we're getting water out now that we've unclogged it. Look at this, there's friggin' pebbles in my radiator. This side is still not clear. I'm sure Bob won't mind me using his uh, Allen key set to do this. Good thing I was planning to take this apart because if I had found out during final assembly that our water cooler didn't work and it was completely clogged, like, no amount of turning it off and turning it back on again was gonna fix that. Bob, you ready? We yeah. uh, gotta leave one minute ago. 
Okay. You ready? Let's do it. All right, let's go. I'll grab my food, find my phone. We're doing Linus's OCD things now, where Linus really feels like a modern system with a 2500K and an R9 290 should really have 16 gigs of RAM, not eight gigs of RAM. We're spending pretty much the rest of our budget on another eight gigs of RAM. Where are we at on painting? We are doing actually pretty good. Really? So the, let's see. I have a few small miscellaneous things completely done. I have all the fabrication is 100% done. Okay. Um, They're still fabricating. I just have to sand all the parts and just start blasting them with paint. We're literally like flying through this section of the paint stuff. There you are. You. Please count them. I, yeah. I feel more comfortable if other people will verify my counting. All right. All right. Pleasure doing business with you. Thank, Thank you. you very Thank much. You, we got nice a competition to, to win. So, uh, yeah. so Bob, yes. final count after I paid back the 20 bucks I borrowed from you yeah. yesterday is $5 and 70 cents. I gotta say, I'm feeling pretty damn confident about the modding part. I really am. Because I think with smoothing out the insides and everything and just going with a good silver color and then whatever we do for some accents, man, I feel pretty good. It's, it's hard to beat that. I think we're gonna have it.